the feeling that you get from listening to music and then you and then you hear the lyrics even if the lyrics shed light on something you've never thought about you don't feel like you're sitting in class being preached to you feel like you're having an enjoyable experience so i think that visual art should work the same way I, I, th I think what inspires me is um, finding a way to communicate that I, I think can be provocative but also visually arresting or, you know, I might even say sometimes beautiful. Are you going the whole way down? No, because this bungalow they're going to have to destroy is blocking my mural. Um, that's a yeah. So for me, I'm always inspired to find the solutions to talk about topics I want to talk about in my work, but put it across in a way that might catch someone's attention, their imagination, and, and just you know make them want to look at the image and then look deeper into it because it just struck them on a visual level in the gut. That goes to the bottom. This piece is the first all stencil image at this scale that I've done. So it's a mixture of painting with rollers and a brush to create the fade, but then the primary imagery is created with stencils. Are you going to do bottom right, bottom left, bottom right, bottom left? Yeah, we'll do it that way. Most of my work historically has been done with uh, wheat pasting up posters or large painted in images because it's usually temporary. But this is going to be permanent so it was worth, uh, worth the extra effort to paint the entire thing. I am excited that it's going to be something that lasts longer than most of my illegal street art and you know, I think it's an important thing for the community to see uh, artists who start in the margins make the transition to being seen as uh, more legitimate because I think it inspires other creative people to try to take what they're doing further. Do we want to cut on the wall? Are we deciding that that's the best way to do it? Yeah, that's the best. I think I do what I do because I can't figure out anything else I'd want to do to earn a living or, or spend my time with. I, ever since I was a little kid I liked to draw and then I got into punk rock and skateboarding and I saw a real connection between the creativity of those cultures and, and what I was doing. It was exciting because it wasn't just about drawing alone in your room, it was about building community and caring about politics so uh, I guess it's just my life ended up having all my various interests converge in what I do every day. Whatever you want to do. But if, well, you know, um, if you're okay with us painting it or if you, I don't know what the best way to, to make it flat there is, but if you, if you're into that, I mean it it might be nice, but um, I'm yeah. willing to just, you know, work with a wall as is. I think it's worth filling in. Okay. Right. Yeah, I hope it weathers well. I, um, yeah. I think, sure. I think, I think the, I mean, the paint's outdoor paint. It should be pretty good, but yeah, we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> see you later. Take care.
I think the way that I've evolved has been very linear and logical in that every breakthrough that I make, every technique that I think works, I keep building upon and, uh, you know, trial and error, try new things and incorporate something new into the, into the repertoire. But, um, you know, just trying to keep evolving, not um, not get comfortable with um, with all the different formulas I already know how to do, but, but keep pushing further. That's, that's what's in the future. Thank you.